coches Colombia. Muchas gracias, señora vicepresidenta. Thank you for your warm welcome. Gracias por su uh, cálida uh, bienvenida. Hola. <laughs> Ahí muy buenas, muy buenas tardes. Me gustaría empezar en español. <laughs> Hello, fellow squaddies. Welcome to Royal Telly. I'm your host, Chloe. Today, we're taking a look at the final day of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's memorable tour in Colombia. It was a powerful display of advocacy, compassion, and engagement. From empowering forums to joy-filled music festivals, the Sussexes truly embraced the vibrant culture and community of Colombia. Without further ado, let's dive into the highlights of this unforgettable day. The day began with the Duke and Duchess attending a powerful panel discussion titled Afro Women and Power. The setting was the majestic municipal theater in Cali, nestled in the vibrant heart of Valle del Cauca. The air was filled with anticipation, a sense of importance hovering over the gathering as they prepared to broach a subject of such significance. The ever-engaging Duchess Megan soon joined the panel, first charming the crowd by speaking in Spanish. She then transitioned into English, discussing the work of the Archwell Foundation and the newly launched Parent Network. So for us and the work that we do with the Archwell Foundation, certainly the work that we do as parents, as I do as a mother, is ensuring that young girls feel as though their voices are being heard and also that young boys are being raised to listen and to hear those young women as well. So at the Archwell Foundation, we are very, very um, dedicated to creating a sense of community, but also one in which women are heard and and that their ideas are really felt and implemented in the programming that we do. So we just recently launched a program uh, called the Parents Network, which is for parents who have lost children or have encountered the worst possible challenges and level of grief as a result of online harms. And allowing those mothers, those parents to be heard um, is very key to the work that we're doing. This unscripted moment highlighted her commitment to communication a clear testament to her dedication to creating bridges between cultures and communities. But Megan's memorable moments didn't stop there. Displaying her innate empathy and humanity, she had a heartwarming, candid moment when she took it upon herself to ease the comfort of the women on stage. Rising from her seat during the panel discussion, she walked off to the wings and turned on a fan for the women, all the while eliciting laughter from the crowd as she said in Spanish, that the women on stage deserved some cool air. This simple act, this gesture of solidarity, showed that Megan is not only a duchess, but also a girl's girl, always willing to step in and help out when needed. It was a moment that encapsulated her spirit, her warmth, and her genuine care for others. Megan further spoke about the importance of fostering independence in young girls, referencing her own daughter, Princess Lilibet. In her words, at three, she has found her voice. This statement was met with smiles, laughter, and nods of agreement from the audience. It's clear that she's not just a duchess, but also a proud mother committed to raising strong, independent women. After all, as she shared, her greatest inspirations are the strong women around her, including her own mother. So I will say, from my standpoint, I was very, very fortunate at a young age to feel as though my voice was being heard. And I think that is a luxury that a lot of young girls and women aren't often afforded. And in this panel, surrounded by powerful women, Megan more than held her own. She emerged as a beacon of strength, a symbol of empowerment, and a true advocate for women everywhere. Megan's actions showed she is not only a duchess, but also a girl's girl, willing to step in and help out when needed. Next, the Sussexes headed to Unidad Recreativa El Vallado to spend some time with the city's young people. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were greeted with vibrant salsa and hip-hop performances by the talented youth of Jovenes and Cali, a local organization committed to empowering the city's young people. The energy in the room was infectious, the rhythm of the music resonating with the spirit of the attendees. 
never ones to shy away from a chance to engage, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex didn't just watch from the sidelines. Instead, they enthusiastically joined the young performers on the dance floor. The duo moved to the rhythm of the music, their smiles lighting up the room. They were clearly enjoying themselves, their laughter echoing throughout the hall. It was a beautiful moment that showcased the Sussexes' genuine commitment to engaging with local communities, their willingness to immerse themselves in the culture, and their ability to let loose and have fun. The afternoon was not just about dancing, though. The Duchess, always passionate about female empowerment and the importance of finding one's voice, took a moment to speak about their daughter, Princess Lilibet. Meghan's words highlighted her commitment to raising a strong, independent daughter who is not afraid to speak her mind. The visit to Unidad Recreativa El Vallado was not just an opportunity for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to witness and participate in the local culture. It was also a chance for them to connect with the youth of Cali, to listen to their stories and to share their own. This genuine exchange was a testament to their commitment to making a positive impact wherever they go, the Duke and Duchess's participation in the dance was a testament to their commitment to engaging with local communities. Their visit to Unidad Recreativa El Vallado was a resounding success, a blend of fun, culture, and meaningful conversations. It was a day that will undoubtedly be etched in the memories of those who were fortunate enough to be a part of it. The final stop of the day was at the Petronio Music Festival, a celebration of Afro-Colombian music and dance. This festival is a pulsating tribute to the richness and diversity of Afro-Colombian culture, and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were there to experience it all. The couple arrived to the sound of drum beats and the vibrant colors of the festival. They were greeted with warm smiles and enthusiastic cheers from the crowd, a testament to the affection and respect the people of Cali have for them. In the midst of the lively music, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made their way through the crowd taking the time to interact with festival goers. They laughed, they clapped, and they moved to the infectious beats of the music. Their genuine enjoyment and appreciation for the festival was evident in their every action, further endearing them to the crowd. The Duchess of Sussex, always one to champion the cause of women, particularly enjoyed the performances by female artists. She applauded their talent and the strength of their voices, reinforcing her belief in the power of women. The Duke, too, was engrossed in the performances, his foot tapping along to the beat, his face a picture of delight. Throughout the festival, couples' energy was infectious. They were not just passive spectators, but active participants, fully immersing themselves in the experience. They danced, they laughed, they celebrated. Their presence was not just a sign of support for the festival, but a clear indication of their respect for Afro-Colombian culture. As the day drew to a close, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex bid farewell to the festival. They left with a deeper understanding of the vibrant Afro-Colombian culture and a lasting impression on the people of Cali. Their presence at the festival was a clear indicator of their support for Afro-Colombian culture. Their visit was not just about enjoying the music and the festivities, but about showing their respect and admiration for a community that is often overlooked. And in doing so, they once again demonstrated why they are such beloved figures in the world today. Following the panel discussion, the program closed with a lively fashion show that featured local designers. Megan, after the panel ended, brought her husband on stage for a photo session with the other dignitaries present, adding another memorable moment to this remarkable day. That's a wrap on the Sussex's final day in Colombia. Highlights included their attendance at the Afro Women and Power Forum, dancing with the youth of Cali and their heartfelt appearance at the Petronio Music Festival. We applaud their commitment to positive change and thank Colombia for its warm welcome. Thank you, fellow squaddies, for joining us today on Royal Telly. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with all things Sussex.